To write the formula for copper to hydroxide, we look up copper on the periodic table. It has an element symbol of Cu. And then hydroxide, that's one to remember. Hydroxide is OH, and it has an ionic charge of 1 minus. So this is a polyatomic ion, and it's one that you should have committed to memory. Copper, that's a metal. And then we have the hydroxide, that's a group of nonmetals. A metal and a nonmetal, that's going to be ionic. So we need to think about the ionic charges. The name copper 2, this Roman numeral, tells us copper has a 2 plus ionic charge. It's a transition metal. The hydroxide, we said, was 1 minus. So these numbers, they need to add up to 0 to have a neutral compound. And copper 2 hydroxide, that's a neutral compound. Right now they don't, but we can change these subscripts to make them add up and have a net charge of 0. We can use the crisscross method to make that happen. We can take the 1, move it over here, the 2, move it over here. We don't write the 1 by convention. We get rid of these charges. And then finally, we do need to put parentheses around the hydroxide since it's a polyatomic ion. And that's the formula for copper 2 hydroxide. Let's check our work real quick. We said copper, that was 2 plus because of the Roman numeral. And then the hydroxide was 1 minus. So we have two of these hydroxide ions, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. One of the coppers, which is 2 plus. So 2 plus, 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. This is the correct formula for copper 2 hydroxide. Let's clean it up. And that's the formula for copper 2 hydroxide, CuOH2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.